Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to show you how to use the method of elimination. And yes, there are some very specific steps that we want to go through, and we're going to show you how to utilize those steps. So the first step says look for variables with the same numerical coefficient. So we only have two variables, x and y. Notice that for x, we have a coefficient of 1 there and negative 2 there, so they're not the same. But for our y's, notice the coefficient is 1 and 1, so we'll use y will eliminate the variable with the same coefficient. Now sometimes neither one of them has the same coefficient. If that's the case, if necessary, multiply each equation by a constant to force one of the variables to have the same coefficients. And we'll show you an example of that in just a little bit. Third, we multiply one of the equations by negative one if needed because you want them to be opposite sign. So in this case, since they're the same sign, they're saying both positive 1, we want to multiply one equation by a negative sign to make it opposite in sign, because then we're going to add the two equations. Since numerically they're the same, and one has a negative sign, the other one's a positive sign, when you add them, they're eliminated. And that's the key to the term, the method of elimination. All right, so let's do that. So first, look for variables with the same numerical coefficient, which is the y. We don't have to do number two because we did find the set, so one of them does, y does, and then we're going to multiply one of the equation by negative one. So what I'm going to do here is use a different color, and we're going to multiply both the left and the right side of the equation by negative one. Remember, we have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. So what we're going to do here is write the two equations again, y equals x plus two, but now I rewrite the second equation by multiplying both sides by negative 1. So we get negative y equals a positive 2x minus 8. So simply, on both sides of the equation, everything changes signs. Now, I can go to step number 4. I can add both equations. So I add a plus y and a negative y, that gives me 0, equals x plus 2x gives me 3x, and 2 minus 8 gives me minus 6. So now moving the minus 6 to the other side, minus 6 becomes a plus 6, plus 6 equals 3x, or 3x equals 6. Now we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x. That means we now have x is equal to 2. Once you have one of the variables, you then plug that back into one of your two equations. And the best equation to plug that into will probably be the first equation. So then we take that equation and we rewrite it as y equals, instead of x, we write the number 2 plus 2, or y equals 4. So now we have the x and y coordinates of the point we're looking for, so we can say that x and y is equal to 2 and 4. And that is how we use the method of elimination to solve for that system of linear equations. And it's probably the most used the most common and the most liked method of all, and that is how we do it. Now, before we stop, let me show you what we would do if we want to eliminate the x's, because now we have to include step number two. So let's try that. So we have y is equal to x plus 2, and we have y is equal to minus 2x plus 8. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply the first equation by a 2. Not a negative 2, but a 2. Notice if I do that, I get a 2x here and a negative 2x there. And when I then add the two equations, the x's are eliminated. So let's try that. So our first equation will be rewritten as 2y equals 2x plus 4. Now we write the second equation as y is equal to minus 2x plus 8. And now when I add those two together, See what happens. The x is eliminated. So we get 3y is equal to, this drops out, which is equal to 12. Divide both sides by 3. That gives us y is equal to 4. And then what I do with that is I plug that into one of my equations to solve for x. So let's do that. So this equation then becomes, instead of y, I get 4 is equal to x plus 2. Then move the 2 over to the other side, 4 minus 2 is equal to x, or x equals 2. And notice here I eliminated 
the y variable. Why did I eliminate the y variable? Because I was looking for variables with the same numerical coefficient, which in this case was y. But what if neither one of them has the same numerical coefficient? Then we use rule number two. We go ahead and multiply one of the two equations by a, a number, a constant, to make the numerical value of the coefficient the same. Hopefully they're opposite in sign, so when you add them, it just simply gets eliminated, and that is how it's done in that case.